still calling for a bank tax to help pay for future crises. In our viewer outrage segment, we asked, should there be a bank tax? So here's what you said. Joseph from New York, of course there should be a tax because the banks have saddled us with the risk of their gambling. Julie counters, who pays for the tax on banks? The depositors and investors. All right. Joining us now is Christopher Metzler, Associate Dean of Georgetown University's School of Continuing Studies, and Simon Rosenberg, founder of the New Democratic Network. Hello, gentlemen. Christopher, start with you. Bank tax, is this a great idea right now? No, that's a ridiculous idea. I, I, look, I understand that there's an election year. I understand the populism. I get that. However, the fact of the matter is, you know who's going to pay it? We're going to pay it. What's going to happen is that the banks are simply going to pass the tax on to the consumers. So how many taxes are we going to be able to sustain? This is yet another tax. Enough already. The fact of the matter is that the, the, the TARP stuff was wrong, the bailout stuff was wrong, and now we want to add on top of that, we want to compound it with another tax. Give me a break. Simon, do you agree? Uh, I think the goal of policy in Washington now should be to make sure that a better banking system comes out of all of this from what we had before. I think the financial services regulation bill that's going to be uh, signed tomorrow is an important step forward. But if you look what's going on with the banks now, right, is that business lending isn't happening. There's still very high interest rates being charged to consumers. Uh, and I hope that over the next, uh, and, and, and that's while the banks themselves are getting virtually zero interest loans from the Fed. They're turning around and loaning that money to consumers and to other people and making a lot of profits. And I think that, and that's okay. Profits are okay. But the real question is, that I think we should be debating is, do we have a better banking system today? And by the metrics of business lending, we don't. I mean, the banking system is not back to where it needs to be to sustain a healthy economy. Well, okay, Chris, uh, just let me stay with that. Uh, I agree. There's no question. Empirically, there's no lending sure, yeah. going on right now. Okay, yeah. fine. Given that, why would we want to hike taxes on banks to put them deeper in the... In other words, if the, bank, if the demand for loans isn't there, if the supply of loans isn't there, why do we want to tax loans? Absolutely. And the fact is, by taxing, is the, is the argument that if we tax loans, then we're going to increase lending? I, I, I don't understand that. Mm. That makes no sense to me. And is the argument that if we put a tax on banks, that's going to lead to a better banking system? Again, I'm confused. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So yeah. the, the fact is, I don't think that we need to tax the banks. If you want to talk about a better lending system, fine. This tax doesn't get us there. Period. End of mm -hmm. discussion. Well, and it's just, just to be clear, it's not actually in the financial services right. Re right. reform right. bill that's sure. being signed. Right. It was rejected by the Senate and the House during the sure. process, and it's not going to be in the bill tomorrow. Right? Simon, what do you think would get lending going again? Well, it's a great question, and I, you guys debate this a lot on your show, and I appreciate, you know, the discussion. It's but really I do the think, answer. Well, I think part of the answer is that, you know, it, it, we lent the banks a lot of money, and we continue to give the banks essentially zero interest loans. It, it would be, I think, a fair conversation to have about whether or not the banks should be required to take a percentage of that money they're getting from the federal government and got from the federal government continue to get with zero interest loans and turning that back to low interest loans to, to businesses to make sure that they're lending to help create growth in the future. I think that's a reasonable thing given the incredible level of subsidies that are going on to the banks that are uh, through the Fed right now designed to help them get back to fiscal autonomy, right? I mean, we want them to be healthy again, but the question is, do they need to give a little bit back to taxpayers and to the economy for what they're getting back well, from the government? Yeah, but Chris, that almost presupposes that they don't pay taxes. Yeah. There, there is a corporate tax they pay. They also pay bank assessments to the FDIC. Most of the states have the specific right. bank taxes. I mean, one could argue banks are actually taxed more than your average corporation. I, I, absolutely. And I, I, this, this idea of requiring banks, I think if we want to get lending going again, part of what the government has to do, frankly, is the government st has to stop coming up with all of these over regulations. I mean, and, and it seems to me that this is yet another idea. Now, I understand that it's not pa part of the bill. I'm not suggesting that it is. But what I'm saying is if government wants to uh, get lending going again, get out of the way. I mean, l l let's yeah, let the right. banks do what right. they do. Right. Yeah, don't tie them up in red tape. Don't Gentlemen. punish them. Don't kick them. Don't slam them. Try Great. to nurture them. Great debate. Thank <laughs> you very much for your time. Will financial reform bring you, the individual investor,